here's an interesting little scenario that occurred recently at a client site. And once again, <laughs> no intent to slam here because this particular product is awesome if you know its limitations. So this client had purchased a new ad hoc report writing tool. It's fantastic. Demos unbelievably with fancy graphs, which we can't do in RDA, ease of use for non-developers. And one of the very slick things about this tool, it does in fact work from the JDE business views. So that's pretty cool. One of the big selling features of this tool is that it does not require an update package in order to run on the server. Well, hey, I wish I could see your heads right now because I bet a lot of you are going, way cool, what is it? I need to know what this is. Well, if you don't need a package, an update package to run this, then your reports are never going to be on a JDE menu. Now that's a big consideration. Remember, it's truly an ad hoc reporting tool. It's not going to create reports that can go on menus for hundreds or thousands of users to run at their will. So even though the client purchased that ad hoc report writing tool, what they really needed for this particular report required several table updates in order to achieve the output. They had some very, very messy converted data, and uh, it, it, it was a real challenge. So the new ad hoc tool was not capable of table update, of course. And in fact, that's another selling feature of this tool, is that you can be in design in the production environment. You don't have to go through DV and PY because it can't update. I see some questions, but I'm going to hold off. Oh no, that's the poll results, okay, sorry. So once again, even though this client will use this new ad hoc tool for other reports, there's no doubt about it, the RDA tool was still required for the table updates. Now since that particular experience, I have become trained as to the use of this new tool. And that's what I mean. I'm not slamming it. It is great. And there's a lot of people who really need a truly ad hoc reporting tool. But you must remember, it cannot replace RDA. It doesn't do table updates, and it will never go on a menu. This story is so near and dear to my heart. I think this story says it all, really. I have a Canadian client up here, and I've been working with her for years. She is absolutely my favorite because she is so smart. She's absolutely crackerjack. She knows exactly what she wants. She knows exactly what tables it's in. She's a developer's dream for specs. She's been trained. I've trained her. She could be doing this development herself but she's spread too thin and doesn't have the time. And, you know, that's a whole other topic on its own, and we're seeing more and more of that. You know, people come to class and they get trained, and then they go back to their jobs where they're really doing two jobs instead of one. And it's a sign of the times, and it's a tough, it's a tough thing, but it is what it is. Together, though, we've done some great work. Um, they've got a really unique accounts receivable situation. And believe it or not, J.D. Edwards out of the box can't handle it. They bill out to hundreds of municipalities every month based on percentages and criteria that changes every month. So they were doing it all manually, of course, using Excel. They finally decided this just wasn't acceptable because of the amount of people hours. And the room for human error was, was just too great. These invoices were going out, and no one, no one could rely on them. So what we did is we created a front-end batch job from scratch that updated to a custom work file, similar to the O3B11. 
The batch job included a front-end processing option that allowed the user to enter all of the criteria that changed monthly. Then over the custom work file, we created an interactive application. So now they can go in, see their find browse form, see all the invoices they've just created, and now they could further massage them on a one-by-one -one or a mass job. From the interactive application, they could print the custom invoices, complete with their logo, proof or final mode. Typical, you know, if you run it in proof, no journal entry. If you run it in final, auto created the journal entry. So that was pretty cool. 